Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be configuring basic voice over IP network. In this network, as you can see here, we have router one connected to a switch, and the switch is connected to two IP phones, and each IP uh, P phone is connected to a PC. Uh, nothing configured yet on this network. I'll start with you from scratch. Only just the names of the router and of the switch I configured as W1 for the switch here and router 1 for the router. And uh, uh, in this video, you will find in the description, you know, just download the, the packet tracer file if you download the, the packet tracer on your uh, computer. And uh, you will find also documents to walk you through step by step what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, so hopefully this will help you with your uh, CCNA exam and actually also in real life. For this lab, you know, uh, when you want to, or if you plan to download or to do this uh, network, uh, make sure that you choose this model, the 2800, uh, the 2811 uh, router because this is what uh, I found is supporting the telephony service. Now what I'm gonna be doing here on the switch, I'll be configuring uh, two VLANs, one for voice or uh, phone or whatever name you will call it, or give it a name, and another VLAN for the data or the PCs, or also it's up to you the, how you want to configure the names. And on the router, I'll be configuring uh, DHCP uh, to give the for the phones, IP phones, IP addresses, and also for the PCs, uh, and uh, also I'll configure the router uh, sub uh, interfaces for the two VLANs here, and uh, then we will test what we did and uh, things uh, you know at the end of this uh, lab. For now, let's start with uh, on the switch configuring two VLANs. Enable configure terminal and the first VLAN is VLAN 1 and I'll give it the name voice and VLAN 20 I'll give it a name data Now for these two ports connecting to the uh, IP phones and These two ports here F01 and F02 they will be in uh, as access ports for VLAN 20 for the data and I'll show you uh, that when you configure, when you are in the switch port, and you can choose uh, either uh, the mode to be access trunk, and uh, also we have another option, which is voice. This is for the IP phones. Here on the switch, interface uh, 01, we can do them both you know, together as a range, like uh, interface range F0, 1, and 2, because they are both, these two PCs, both are in VLAN 20 data, and the voice for the IP phone, uh, the VLAN voice is in uh, VLAN 10. And I'm just telling you, as long as these uh, PCs here are in the same VLAN, you know, you can do them together, but I will do them separately. Interface F01, switch port mode access, and switch port access VLAN 20. This is for data. And the other option here is switch port. And as you can see, either we choose trunk access or the mode, also we have voice here. So this is what we are going to choose, voice for what VLAN, the VLAN we configured earlier, which was VLAN 10. Now for the other interface F02, switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 20, this is for the data, VLAN, and switch port voice, and the voice for VLAN Exit here. So we configured both ports F01, Fast Ethernet 01, and Fast Ethernet 02. Now, uh, for 
this port here of 05 connecting the switch to the router will configure this as a trunk port interface f05 switch port mode trunk now on the on the router we'll configure the router as the SCP server with two pools of addresses one for data and one for the voice uh, but for the voice we will choose option 150 IP address for the voice pool uh, because also the router will be acting as a TFTP server enable configure terminal IP DHCP uh, let me exclude some uh, IP addresses range of uh, 172.10 Sorry, 172.16.10.1 and 10 IP addresses to 10.10. For the voice uh, VLAN, I'll, the IP address will be uh, 172.16.1.0. Now, IP address, sorry, IP DHCP pool for the the network of 172.16.10.0 this is for the voice i will name it voice now and the network of 172.16.10.0 with slash 24 subnet mask and the default router the gateway of 172.16.10.1 now the option of option 150 and it is the IP address of 172.16.10.1 so we configure the first pool for voice for VLAN 10 exit from here and we'll do the same for the data VLAN IP DHCP excluded range and this uh, network of 172.16.20.1 uh, 10 IP addresses also 172.16.20.10 IP DHCP pool and we will name this uh, just the same data now for the network 172.16.20.0 slash 24 subnet mask and the default gateway for this network is 172.16.20.1 so what we did so far we created two vlans on the switch one for voice one for uh, data we configured the ports as access port for vlan 20 for the data and vlan 10 for the voice for the ip phones and on the router we created two the uh, two pools of addresses one for the data and one for voice and now we will configure or start creating the sub interfaces a router on a stick uh, on the router here interface f00 for vlan 10 uh, now encapsulation dot one q for vlan 10 and now we can give it the IP address of 172.16.10.1.255.255.255.0. This is for VLAN 10. When we encapsulate the port, like telling the port that this is for encapsulate the data for VLAN 10. Now for the interface of F0020 encapsulation dot one q and this is encapsulated for vlan 20 and the ip address of 172.16.20.1 and with a submit mask 24 now these are for the sub interfaces as for the physical interface f00 we don't assign an ip address we just open the port and now no shut it and notice here it's open up for the sub interface 10 and 20 and 
as you can see the the color here green and this is still uh, connecting now uh, the configuration of all of the call manager on the router now we will define the maximum number of IP phones and directory numbers exit here and uh, the command is telephony telephony service now we are in the telephony service configuration I will use a question mark here and or the help and it's showing us you know options here the maximum e phones so this is what we will do first maximum uh, e phones and we have the range of uh, this model of router support from 1 to 42 phones and we will choose two because this is what we have here two two uh, ip phones and the second option is the maximum directory numbers and it's a support up to 144 and i will will, will show you here that uh, it will not give you an error if you we are supposed to choose two because this is what we have two ip phones but i'll show you that we can still can choose three here and to configure directory numbers the three directory numbers now a uh, question mark here to see what we want to do also for the ip ip define ip address and port for the telephony service ip and source address, our source address in this uh, lab is 172.16.10.1. Uh, and the port, define TCP port for the telephony service. And here is showing us that uh, the range from 2000 to 9999. And we will choose the 2000 here. And also we can. Uh, uh, auto use this command auto and to assign the directory num number range uh, from one and here is showing us two two only just to a directory number to tag only two and we are uh, done here with this uh, configuration so exit now our second option or what we will be working on is the e-phone e uh, ethernet phone tag we have number for e -phone, ip phone one and here is uh, what type the type we have is three types here we can choose one and the one we are using here in this uh, example is 7960 exit from here and for the second one e phone uh, 2 for the ip phone 2 and here uh, the type also is 7960 now uh, i will define the number for the uh, ip phones so the option uh, sorry e phone uh, directory number for uh, to tag e phone uh, directory number one for IP phone one and now as you can see that the interface phone DSCP DN is up and here I will give it number uh, sorry number uh, for the first uh, phone 2001 exit from here and for the second one, e phone uh, directory number two, as the IP phone two, and as you can see, the, the state is up for the IP phone two. And here we will give it the number of 2002. Just uh, this is for simplicity to make things uh, now exit from here. And also, we have two, but if we want to uh, e phone uh, directory number three for example and it took it and now number because we configured up to three earlier if you notice for example let us give it 2003 exit from here and i will show you a trick here 
uh, if on uh, directory number four. Look what it's gonna tell us here. Will tell us that the directory number exceeds the maximum directory number because we configured it earlier. Uh, the maximum directory number is only three. When I told you it doesn't need to match, you know, the maximum uh, phones with the maximum directory numbers. So this is how to do it. Now, uh, we are done with the configuration uh, here for now. For uh, If you notice now, because we still did not power the, the IP phones, if we try to click here, uh, on the PC to take its IP address from the router, it will give us an APIPA IP address started with 196. Uh, uh, it's not a routable address. Why? Because the uh, IP phone is still not powered on. So if we go here and just drag this and look here to the stop sign, and the minute we are about, when it changes the color, just drop. Now, as you can see, it's starting to change the color here. And let's see what's gonna happen with the PC. It gave it an APIPA IP address, unroutable, is a local uh, address. <coughs> and now, when this change the color, it will give us the uh, unroutable IP address. And here still gave us the same, 169.254. Now, uh, do it again. And here we go, it gave us the 172.16.20.11 for the PC. And we will do the same here with the IP phone 2. Let me change the color here, you see? And to the green arrow. Now it's starting to establishing a connection. Let's wait until the color and for the IP configuration and it's giving us an FFA address and now it's gonna uh, just a second and now it gave us the 172.16.20.12 address. So we'll go here on the router. And as you can see here, it's giving us that, that IP phone 6 registered, IP phone 1 with this IP address, and the socket 2 device type. And here also for this, the second one, IP phone 2, we configured it took this IP address. So let's run this command here. Show IP DHCP binding. And as you can see here, it uh, gave us uh, these IP addresses for the phones. And these are the IP addresses for the PCs with the, uh, let me run this command, show phone and here let me expand this a little bit this is the mac address for the ip phone one and it is idle if you can see here but if we go to the phone and uh, let us as you can see here on the screen that it is gave it to an i the phone here let's call uh, 2002 and ringing out let's bring the other phone and as you can see now it is connected and if we go to the uh, on the router run the same command and here it is connected from idle to connected. So uh, we were able to configure this uh, very simple uh, voice over IP network.
Uh, please, as I said, you know, you want to do the same, uh, just download in the description, there's a file for packet tracer, also walk through step by step what to do, and I hope you will find this uh, video helpful, if you like it, please share it, and give me a thumb up, and uh, I will see you next uh, uh, video very soon, have a nice day.